This is the body weight hip thrust test. You need to set your camera up so that it is horizontal and that you can see when you're doing the test, your whole body from bum to when you are straight. I currently have my camera on the floor on a stand in the uh, landscape position. Next, get your clock ready. You can either use a watch, a clock, the time that's recording on your phone, a friend, or if you don't have a time at all, you can send, you can do your test and send it to your coach and they'll be able to review it on coach's eye and get a time frame for you. The test is to complete as many reps as possible in a 60 second window. This is how you're going to perform the test. Feet will be about shoulder width apart, okay, or hip width apart. You're going to relax your shoulders up against the couch, a box. Ideally, we want to keep it a kind of standardized height, but I understand that it's going to be very different for most people, so I think we're just going to make do with what we got. You're going to start with your bum on the ground. This shoulder position should be below the shoulder blades, so the couch should be below the shoulder blades. You don't want to be too far down on your neck, but you also don't want to be too high up in the middle of your back. Okay, so just below the shoulder blades, and you can kind of relax um, on your couch like you're watching Netflix. Now from here, okay, this will be the start position. You're lifting up. So when I'm in this position, my shins are vertical, straight up and down. My hip is locked, okay? My body is pretty much a straight line from my knees up to my shoulders. My head can stay facing down though. So you don't have to have your head flicked back. You can have your eyes looking through your legs, okay? So on the way up, full lockout, and then on the way down, you don't necessarily have to touch the ground, you just gotta get close to the ground, and up, and up, and up. You have to meet these criteria for a rep to count. If you do not get close enough to the ground, these reps will not count. If you do not go into full lockout, these reps will not count. So we suggest that you practice with two sets of 10 prior to you completing the test. So you get a feel for it. Feel free to video these so you can review yourself and potentially even send it to your coach for review just to make sure that you are completing the test correctly. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me or your coach.